Hey everybody, welcome back to Pikmin. Last time, we cleared out the Forest of Hope, meaning we now have two areas completed. Uh, the Forest of Hope and the Forest of Naval. And today, we're going to go to the Impact Site, because there's one more ship part to get here, and as well, this is a fantastic place to, um, to raise up your Pikmin numbers, which we kind of need, mainly for blues, before we head into the next big area. However, our first priority is, of course, going to be getting that ship part. So, to do that... We will need, uh, mostly blues. Actually, yeah, pretty much only blues. So I'm gonna get out, like, 80. I'm getting out all my blues. And then I'm gonna get out the rest in yellows. Uh, we probably don't need that many blues. But, uh, you know, whatever. Let's just go ahead and have them get flowered. I'm glad none of them are trying to break down this pallet pose, because I want those for later. But I guess they're still sort of coming to my location, so... Uh, by the way, while we're in the Ampex, I should probably mention the Dolphin. Uh, I think everyone knows this at this point, but in case you didn't, the Dolphin is named after the GameCube's prototype name, which was the Dolphin. So I'm eagerly awaiting the, uh, the ship in Pikmin 4 to be named the Nex. That's, uh, that's, uh, oh, Flip Beetle! I actually don't need you. <laughs> yeah, okay, I shouldn't have thrown anyone at him. So this is annoying because getting a large squadron of Pikmin up a small area like that is almost impossible to do efficiently. Especially when your Pikmin are idiots and chase after the stupid Flint Beetle! Oh, and they picked up a bomb rack too, didn't you? Oh, that's nice, sweetie. Get the fuck out of there. Don't attack the Flint Beetle. Are there two? I don't know. God damn it. I'll talk about this guy in a second. Uh, we're, okay, I'm missing one there. Anyone else? I think we're good. Anyway. This guy is a Mamuda. Mamuda? Mamuda? I don't remember how to pronounce it, but uh, I'm going to leave you over there, and um, I want only my leaf blues, if possible. Attack him with vengeance. Um, so anyway, <laughs> what the Mamuda does is it basically will stomp your pigment into the ground. That sounds really bad, but it's actually really good because... It will flower them as it does so. So if you have a bunch of flower Pikmin, or rather a bunch of leaf or bud Pikmin, and you want them flowered, just to throw them at a Mimuda. It's kind of annoying because, well, he'll put them into the ground, you have to pluck them up, and he'll actively be trying to attack you in that time, but he's overall a pretty helpful enemy. And now he is dead. And now I have to pluck all these goddamn Pikmin up. Probably, you know, actually in hindsight, not a good idea to get, like, all 100 Pikmin out. Because, you know, now I'll have to pluck them all out. I plan to do this. Uh, the Mimuda will appear starting after day 7 on even number days. That's why I came here specifically on day 8. Uh, there is also another enemy that appears in the same spot on odd number days after day 7. And I will be showing that off at the end of this episode. So, uh, I didn't really need them to take that back, but whatever. It's okay. Anyway, we're wasting a lot of time here doing this. Isn't that fun? It's okay. I mean, I, I'm not going to need so many Pikmin that I'm wasting time. Uh, this time waste is a, it's a huge deal, but it's it's annoying nonetheless. I wish we didn't have to do this. In Pikmin 2, I believe, they added a, uh, a whistle upgrade. They added, like, captain upgrades in that game, which is interesting. Uh, they added a whistle upgrade that actually pulls Pikmin out of the ground. So, that was cool. I wish we had that in this game. Anyway... We do need bomb rocks, so uh, that's specifically why I brought yellows. Let's go get some buds. How do I have 20? Well, I, okay. I was going to say, how do I have 21? I thought I took 80 blues out. I didn't. I took like 78 or whatever. So yeah, just grab as many bomb rocks as you can. We'll be using them for various things. How did that one get over there? That was supposed to be over there? I don't even know, man. Any more? I guess not. Alright, that should. that's enough. Um, please don't fall off. Fantastic. Alright. And now let's just blow up this wall. I uh, should take three if I remember this color correctly, yes. And there we go. So now, uh, we're not quite done with bomb rocks yet. Uh, we don't need any more, but we could definitely use some more. To blow up this wall, uh, this is a shortcut back to the base from this area, so... And we have just enough bomb rocks to handle that as well, fantastic. Uh, I shouldn't walk at the bomb. There we go. 
Uh, so I don't really need the yellows anymore. So I'm just gonna deal with this. So, um, this is a pearly clamp clamp. Oh, bloody hell, get off that stupid palaposy. It is a very, very, very dangerous enemy. So dangerous that it doesn't even move. You want to throw as many Pikmin as you can really quickly at it, but then pull them back. You want to pull it back because it will clamp down and kill everything that's in there instantly. So you want to get as many Pikmin as you can in a short time and then pull them out very quickly. You have enough time to deal a good bit of damage, but frankly the strategy for this is just to be very cautious. Because you don't want to lose like 10 or 20 Pikmin that you've thrown into its mouth because you didn't pull out in time. <clears throat> I really need to start wording things better, don't I? That should be it. It does actually- oh! It's uh, sort of also like the Wallywog, where it can kill things after it's dead. Because, you know, this game hates you. So, the uh, little pearl at least behind, I guess, I guess is the pearly proper, of the pearly clamp clamp. Um, it gives you, I believe, 50 Pikmin. I believe it gives you 50, 50, 50, 50, why am I saying 50 twice? It gives you 50 Pikmin, uh, which is obviously a ton, and will raise our blue numbers up so much and be really helpful. Get off of that! No! I whistled you! What the hell? Okay, whatever, just deal with it. Come back. At least we're getting a ton of Pikmin from this. Bloody hell. So this one doesn't exactly have a pearl inside of it. It has a uh, other thing. I'm not going to spoil it, obviously, but I think you know what it is. You're going to die. I'm not even going to fucking save you. You deserve to die for whatever you were doing. It looked like he was drowning in there or something. It is generally being an idiot. So I'm not saving him. Survival of the fittest, man. Even though I'm, like, throwing mostly flower Pikmin in there, which are the strongest Pikmin, and the leaves are surviving. Whatever, you know, evolution is a theory, right? It's a theory. It's not proven. Positron generator! Um, so he can warm up instant space noodles. Go ahead and take that back. I do want to take this back as well, this pallet posy over here. I wonder, can I still... Huh, okay, so that thing's still actually alive. I didn't actually ever try that before in my playthroughs. That I try throwing Pikmin into a Pro Clamp Clamp that already technically been defeated. Which makes sense, I mean, given that the Clamp Clamp doesn't itself die, it doesn't die at all. Don't I? Where's my other yellows? They're with the blues? Why? Whatever. We need yellows to get this little Pella Posey over here, but then. Then I think I'm gonna be done with yellows because, um, we don't need them ever. For anything, so I'm just gonna have them get this pellet posy. Like they're getting it, right? Okay, they got it. Yeah, I'm not gonna care about yellows past that. That's like literally all we need to use them for. So let's go and pluck these blues, and then uh, we'll get 50/50 of reds and blues out. Also, we have an even 500 Pikmin right now total, which is nice. But we're gonna ruin that even number with well, another even number because we're gonna have. 20 in there, but, you know, it's less of a, a like, good-looking even number. Where are the yellows? Where the hell did they go? Oh, I guess, did they go all over? I guess they couldn't drop down. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I'm just gonna leave you guys out so that you can not have me pluck a bunch of your kind, because I don't want to do that. It seems like I'm racist against yellows. It's because I am. Okay, I really need to word that better, because that's that could be taken very badly. I shouldn't have even put that up. <laughs> anyway, um... What are you carrying? Why? No! Don't you do that, you stupid idiots! You have just wasted red population, you bastards! Get in there. You're in a timeout for the rest of the game. Motherfuckers. Alright. Get in there. Go. I want to see your faces ever again. Let's get 50 blues out. Well, you put 28 blues back, I guess, but whatever. And then we'll get reds out in a minute because I have to wait. What? Wait, what? Now you guys are being the idiots. All Pikmin are stupid, just yellows are the least useful stupids. 
Don't build that stick. So yeah, the rest of this day is basically going to be, um... Getting Pikmin numbers up. That's all we can really do in the impact site now, because, well... No more ship parts to get. And, uh, we fought the Mamuda, so... Yeah. Very... Okay, I'm an idiot. I just... Pff, whatever. Take it. Sure. Not like the elves are going to need it. Let's see... Oh, shit, I didn't get my reds out. That's bad. That's annoying, rather. Not really bad. Whatever, just put three blues back. I'll just pluck those there. You know, I really don't need you getting that nectar. Not right now, at least. I'll get my reds out, and then I'll do it. How do I have 51? Whatever, holy shit. This whole process is just way more annoying than it should be. I guess I only put three back or something. So I have not that much time left to get Pikmin up, but... Our numbers are looking pretty good overall, so I'm not really worried about that. In fact, I don't really need any more reds. But I'm gonna get them anyway. Please tell me you'll... Okay, you carry that instead of going to the nectar. That's what I wanted you to do. Uh, how are our numbers looking? We have over 200 reds. Uh, over 200 blues as well. So we're basically... We're good. We don't really need to get numbers up. But since we're here, we might as well. Uh, there's not really- uh, there was a 20 red pellet actually near where we got the ship part, so I should go grab that real quick, because that's, uh, that's obviously, you know, a lot of Pikmin. So I'll go grab that momentarily. All this is gonna be going to the blues, buds. Don't take it. Good job. You listened to me for once. And you're sorry, Pikmin lives. With that, Pikmin, go. How am I gonna get you back? Oh, <laughs> Did you have fun there, buddy, with that slide? I, I, it was fun watching. Um, should I go get the 20 pellet now? Nah, we'll be fine. We'll have time. You, okay. Where'd that one go? I think it's over there. He'll be fine. We'll get him later. I'm really bad at aiming, apparently. I, I did, that's not the one I meant to hit, but that's okay. That, and that, and that. And that, and that. Stop carrying the blue! And let the blues carry the blue. Alright, let's go grab the 20 red pellet. Um, I'll just throw 20 reds up here. I was gonna say, I just remembered there's a yellow pellet up there as well that I want to get, but nope, I already got that with the yellow, so I just wasted time throwing Pikmin up there that I didn't need to. I kind of realized halfway through, but I'd already dedicated myself to throwing that many Pikmin up there, so I just sort of kept going with it. Alright, whatever, come here, guys. Are you shitting me? Motherfucker. God damn it. Everyone get up there. I don't even care about your color at this point. Just get up there. I'll walk back around. I'll get that stupid pallet. Finally. I do like the music for the impact side quite a bit. You don't hear it that much. I don't know why I'm saying you don't hear it that much. You don't really hear any area thing that much in that regard. Because like you're only there for less... I mean, you're, there, you're here in the impact side for like two days total. I guess. So that's what I mean, but... In comparison to the Forge of Hope, we're there for like three, four, five days maybe, depending on how experienced you are at the game, but... I don't know. Words are they're difficult sometimes. Anyway, let's activate this geyser here so that Alamar can get up to that area if he'll actually activate it. There we go. And then leave these Pikmin up via the stick so they can grab these pellets up here. Probably don't have time to get them because, like, we're almost out of time, but... Whatever. Oh, actually, we're like, um, we are basically out of time. At least we have blue numbers up. That's always good. And we're missing five Pikmin. No, we're not. Fantastic. Attack! I probably shouldn't do that in the case that I get flung out of the base. Or what the game considers to be the base area. I should have nectared some of these Pikmin as well, but... 
The flowered, I guess, is a, is a better term for it, but whatever. It's not a huge deal. Interestingly, bulb orbs show up at the impact site at night, even though bulb orbs aren't here, obviously. And I'm just talking about taking them back and dismersing and dismersing? Dis dismissing? Dispersing, whatever. So a huge spike in blue numbers today. We lost 12 in battle because they're idiots, and obviously I am not at fault here. But our numbers looking great. We got 246 reds, 133 yellows, and 226 blues, so... We're looking really good in terms of our numbers, so I'm not really worried about a small dip in numbers of in our blue numbers, uh, because we have more than enough. Probably, hopefully, unless some disaster happens, but you know, hopefully not. So, like I said, where the Mamuta is on odd number days after day seven, there will be another enemy to fight, and if you want to fight it, I would suggest only taking blues with you because this is the Gulix. <laughs> it's so it's funny. It's just like this derpy little goo thing. Anyway, what you want to do is just throw Pikmin at the nucleus. One of the two. This one, the lighter one, is actually the more vulnerable one. And um, as long as you're only throwing blues at it, wait, what? Oh, I guess the the, the harder of the dark one is the one you want to fight. Oh, okay, I guess so. I, okay. That was really weird. Anyway, yeah, attack the darker one. And uh, eventually you'll fling a bunch of Pikmin out of that. Which is kind of annoying because you have to like, gather them. But overall, it's a pretty easy enemy. He can't really hurt your Pikmin. But, um... I'll do his job. And now he's dead. And you get some red pellets from that, of course. Which I don't know why you get reds, but... Yeah, he can't really hurt blue Pikmin, so just take blue Pikmin and deal with him and it'll be good. Again, he appears on odd number days after day seven at this area of the impact site in this like stump of a tree. So, there you go. There's the Gulix. But that's the impact site done. We covered the Gulix, we covered Mamuta, and uh, that's the first three areas of the game as well done. So, next time, we will head to the Distant Spring. To cover tons of shit parts. Look at all those stars there. See you guys next time. <laughs>